Hi, I'm Lori Barnes here to talk to you about the upcoming Capricorn full moon. The moonlight in the sky is increasing right now and it will be exactly full on Friday or early Saturday morning if you're in Europe. The theme of this month's full moon is Harmony in Action. I want to give you the dates and times of the exact full moon. Friday on the West Coast of the United States, it will be exactly full at 6.08 p.m. And if you're on the East Coast of the U.S., it'll be at 9.08 p.m. And if you're in Italy, where I'm broadcasting from, it'll be early in the morning on Saturday at 3.08 a.m. This full moon in Capricorn takes place at one degree. The June full moon expresses its energy through the sign of Capricorn, which means that the sun is sending light to the moon through the sign of Cancer. This year's full moon happens just a day after the June Cancer solstice. This period of time holds the longest days and the shortest nights in the Northern Hemisphere, so that's the United States, Europe, And it holds the shortest days and longest nights in the Southern Hemisphere, if you're down in Cape Town, Africa, or Australia. Solstices happen every year in June and December. They're like nature's reminder to us to take notice of balance in life, and particularly around home and career or family and your public life. The extreme days of light and dark on the solstices remind us that when we hit the outer limit of our own extremes, which is represented by Saturn and Saturn rules Capricorn, that means it's time to nurture ourselves and look back within ourselves in a loving and nurturing way, which is represented by Cancer, which is ruled by the moon. Capricorn, the sign, is about tradition, structure, boundaries, and the limits of life. Where Cancer, the opposite sign of Capricorn, it's about tradition also, but has more of a focus on sentiment, connection, and family. Every full moon highlights a pair of signs. This month, it's the Capricorn and Cancer axis. This asks us to become more aware of how we balance our external life, like our career or public image, with our family and home life. Or another way to look at it is between our self-care and our nurturing compared to our external drive and our ambition to be successful out in the world. That's something that people in the West tend to struggle with, these two areas, home and family, you know, the work-life balance. Capricorn is an earth sign. It's known for leadership, strategy, and having a disciplined approach to things. The challenging side of Capricorn is that There can sometimes be a tendency to be overly controlling, rigid, or cold. Cancer, which is the sign of the sun, and remember the sun is sending the light to the full moon. Cancer is a water sign. It's known as being nurturing, protective, and intuitive. The challenging side of cancer is to be overly protective of the emotions and sometimes to be indirect, like the crab, cancer the crab, which moves sideways and can sometimes not be direct. Both Capricorn and Cancer are cardinal signs, which are known for leadership. However, their leadership styles differ greatly. Capricorn is direct and unyielding, while Cancer is ambitious but goes about it differently. They go about it through their intuition. The intuition of Cancer helps them make quick, intuitive decisions that propel them forward. If it wasn't for cancer being a cardinal sign and having that cardinal ambition, they might be tempted to immerse themselves in emotional security at home and stay there. But cancer does want to lead and wants to be helpful, which propels them out into the world. Capricorn thrives in challenging work environments and can gravitate towards public life and career promotions with little time for emotional nurturing. This Capricorn full moon shines the light on the balance between our emotional and our material security. So thinking about what these two different signs represent. You may find that work and family themes come up for you over the full moon and this weekend, and you might be running back and forth trying to satisfy both. This weekend, you might have to figure out how to keep both sides happy, or you might have to make a choice. You know, do I satisfy work or do I satisfy my family? Do I take care of my career or my home life? Or how do I do both? That's probably the theme that's going to come up. Because full moons involve the the two lights, the sun and the moon, being in opposite signs, they always have this energy of 
bringing up two sides of an issue. So I would recommend that as we move through this week and over the weekend, when the full moon is very bright in the sky, I recommend you take a moment to reflect on what life situations are happening for you right now that could come up and have you going back and forth between career and home. You always want to know what other planetary activity is happening with a lunation, like a full moon or a new moon. So let's take a look at what's happening. The sun, Venus, and Mercury are all traveling through the sign of cancer at the full moon. In fact, all of the visible planets are in a water or earth sign except Jupiter. What are the visible planets, Lori? Well, they are the two lights, the sun and the moon, which aren't actually planets, but they're moving bodies that are very important. And then the five personal planets. So Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. So of all of those bodies, only one of them, Jupiter is in Gemini and all those other planets are in either earth or water signs. So this pulls us back from the highly dynamic air element energy that we've been experiencing over the last month. We also now have that predominance of cardinal energy through the planets moving through Cancer and Capricorn. That makes this a good time to push on that gas pedal and work on the most important things going on in your life right now. And it can be anything. It can be a relationship, a work project, a hobby, whatever is coming up for you that's important. Looking over to Mars, the planet that represents taking action and getting stuff done, Mars is in a harmonious sextile with the Sun, Venus, and Mercury, and it's also in a harmonious trine with the full moon. So whatever it is that you want to put your energy into, Mars is ready to make it happen. Sun and Venus and Mercury are all in the sign of Cancer, and this makes it a great time to do something with your family. This can be your immediate family, your extended family, or your chosen family of friends. If you have a family reunion happening over this weekend, it should be a very memorable and special occasion. Now, going over to Saturn, Saturn continues on its two and a half year journey through Pisces, and it's preparing to meet Mars in a harmonious sextile. They're going to work together to get things done in a methodical and practical way, but also with a long-term vision in mind. And that's because Saturn is traveling through Pisces while Mars is traveling through Taurus. This is further supported by a harmonious trine between Saturn and Pisces and the Sun, Venus, and Mercury in Cancer all water signs. So this predominance of the water element and the Capricorn full moon really highlights the importance of emotional security in life. And that's why I've been talking a lot in this video about that emotional security and material security, work and home, family and home, home and work. So these are the themes of this full moon. You may even find yourself seeking out more emotional security. That's why you might feel like you want to reach out more to your family or friends that you trust. The other thing that you could do is just something in your living space that makes you feel more emotionally secure, something that makes you feel good and want to be at home, like getting a essential oil diffuser or adding something to the space that just makes you feel good when you see it or you feel it. If you're experiencing a difficult time right now, Reach out to your closest people who help you feel better emotionally. Spend time in nurturing environments that make you feel secure. Usually the outer planets are making some sort of challenging relationship to one of the faster moving personal planets, but not at the Capricorn full moon. This is a really good time to catch up and get stuff done or take some time off. Remember that you're always going to get more out of looking at your natal chart. You can look at the houses and see where the signs are and then look to see what the meaning of that house is that the planet is traveling through because it's going to give you more information about the topics and themes that are probably going to come up for you as these planets are moving through that part of your chart. At the full moon, we'll have Mars and Uranus in the sign of Taurus. We'll have Jupiter in the sign of Gemini. We'll have the Sun, Venus, and Mercury in the sign of Cancer, and the full moon in the sign of Capricorn. Lastly, we'll have Saturn and Neptune traveling through Pisces. If you would like help understanding how this energy may be showing up in your chart, schedule a consultation with me. I have a link in the description below. And if you don't have a copy of your chart, you can get one free online. I recommend two different sites, either astro.com 
or astro-seek.com. And you just type in your information, your birthday, your time of birth, and the city, state, or country, and it will give you your chart for free. I have two inspirational quotes for you. The first one is for the Capricorn full moon. It's from Oprah Winfrey, who says, the big secret in life is that there is no big secret. Whatever your goal, you can get there if you're willing to do the work. Well said, Oprah. Totally agree with that. I found another quote that I thought was very fitting for the cancer side. This is where the sun is traveling. We're in cancer season right now. This is from Mark Twain, who says, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones you did do. Throw off the bowlines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sail, and explore, dream, discover. That's really fine advice. Now I'm going to give you some ideas of activities to do under the Capricorn full moon. If you do a full moon ritual every month, then I would use the element of earth in your ritual. And I have a free guide that you can refer to. I'll link to it below. And I have a ritual for each of the four elements in that full moon guide. The next thing is to spend time with your family, which we've already talked about in this video, but specifically family members who nurture you. And sometimes your chosen family, like your friends or extended family members, are the ones who provide the most emotional security and nurturing to you. So those are the ones that you would want to seek out and spend more time together at the full moon this weekend. If you don't have a family reunion already scheduled, you might want to put one together host a get together between friends and family members. Another good thing to do is focus on getting something done. We have a forward focused full moon with most of the planets working harmoniously together. Work on strategy. You might find it easier to focus over the weekend and strategically and methodically get a lot done. And that's thanks to Saturn and Mars relationship. We've talked about how Capricorn is about material security and cancer is about emotional security. And I'm going to give you a couple of prompts that you can use for your journaling. So think about this. Is emotional security or material security is one more important than the other between emotional and material security? Is one getting more attention than the other? Are you more focused on making money and letting your emotional security kind of like fall to the side. Journal about how satisfied are you with the balance of your work and home or family life? How satisfied are you? If you are satisfied, write about what you're happy about. And if you're not satisfied, write about what choices and decisions you're thinking about right now that could help you find more balance. Another idea is to write a strategy for a project that you've been dreaming about with the idea that you want to get it out of your head and into a plan. This would be a good weekend to get active, go out, move your body. If you can get to a body of water and walk next to it, barefoot, walk in the sand, you'd be combining the water element and the earth element, which are the elements of the sun and the full moon. Another way you could do this is to take a salt bath with high quality herbs or even better if you have herbs from your garden that you can bring in. So looking at combining the earth with water. So just a quick summary, remember that the Capricorn full moon highlights two important areas of life, your home and your family versus your career and your public image. And both sides might be calling for your attention as we move through the weekend. Seek out emotionally nurturing people, which could be your family or your chosen family, which are your friends. Note any imbalances between how you feel about your emotional and material security. It's a perfect time to get things done with most of our planets working together in harmony. The energy is grounded with Mars and Taurus, making a harmonious connection with Saturn and Pisces. Because of this, I chose the theme for the Capricorn full moon to be harmony in action. So go out and enjoy this weekend's full moon. Thank you so much for joining me. I would appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Ciao. Thank you.